Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, this is GGF, bringing you episode 43 of Let's Play Disciples Liberation. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out more Disciples with me. We are having a ball with this game. As you may know if you've been watching... If you're new, then welcome as well, and checking out a very cool game here in the Disciples series, which goes back quite a ways to some classic early games. Alright, so let's get into this here. We're in Greyleaf 2800. 28 hours in. But I think we're just cleaning up right now. Um, so let's go ahead and probably continue to do that. Uh, or did we do everything in Grey Leaf? Let's see. Not exactly sure. Um, there's the bone golem. There's this place. Can't pick that lock. Um, you return to an excited, unintentionally terrifying golem. Big guy, I'm hungry. Uh, we don't have any bones for him. See what happens if we come up this way. If there's nope, there's nothing there. All right, so we will, you know, get to the new area probably today. Oh. Throne of Corthal. Let's see what's up this way. Right, an unholy essence generator. We can probably conquer these peeps. Ah, feel the parasites and you bristle with... I'm starting to regret this. Let's grab it. Um, conquer. 375 gold, 67 XP. And we have an unholy essence generator and a gateway. Oh, there's a lot of maps in the past that have gateways as well. Ruined tombs. No equipment leather boots. Oh. An entrance into the ruined tombs. That doesn't require a lockpick. Interesting. Um... Not sure what they're guarding. Oh, strange bones. Um. Let's quick save. Uh. Can we conquer them? No. They have three zombies, four skeletal warriors, a bone golem, two warlocks, which infect a random target with ravaging infection. Dealing unholy damage, inflicting poison, and inflicts cursed. If the target is already afflicted with poison, bleeding, or burning. And there's two of them going on. Three zombies. Oh, a warlock and three skeleton warriors. And a bone golem. Bone golems seek to tear the world and its races apart limb by limb. They consume their victims whole so the flesh and bones infuse with their monstrous husk. It said sometimes they consume the memories of their meals as well. Undead melee tier 3. Power 362. We are playing on brutal guys, remember? Uh, Bone Claw bashes up to 3 enemies with deadly blows, dealing physical damage, inflicts taunted. Bone Lance. Launches a jagged spear bone. 
lancing the target, dealing physical, inflicting bleeding, and immobilized. Self-destruct when defeated, the bone golem violently explodes, dealing unholy damage to all units within two tiles. Inflicts demoralized on the targets, the bone golem does not go to the graveyard. Okay, um... We could give it a shot. I might put it just back on hard. I don't know. We'll see how brutal goes, I guess. Honestly, I think. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and just put it back on hard. I don't know. I'm chickening out. Oh, we can't change it in combat. Let me go ahead and quit. Let's just try it on hard. Chickening out, guys. Alright, let's battle. And we are three levels ahead of them. So... Alright, Aviana, um... Orb of Power, uh, just wait. Berserker, wait. Oh, we're missing some units. Oops. Oh my gosh. So sorry, guys. We are clearly not ready for today's episode. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, we're missing a 20 piece. So let's head back to Ilion. And see what's going on down here, the recruitment. Um, oh, we have to go back to Hurek and get Horkos. Um, back. Uh, well, let's talk to Orion. Or Orion, and um, continue there. Our scouts bring news, but you're not going to like it. Report. The races have always been battling in Verantor, but it seems our little adventures in each of their realms has aggravated the tensions there. From battle to all-out war, we might be able to end the fighting between the races, take Verantor, and earn Ilion the reputation it deserves. We'd be the symbol of freedom that Nevendar needs. I was hoping you'd say that. I've packed everything we need to march to the front lines, but there's something more. I've been reading about Ilion in the library. It and Verantor seem related somehow. The scrolls call the latter the Profane City. All the better that the soldiers of Ilion be the ones who liberate Verantor, then. Um... What do we know about Verantor? I'm ready for the battle to come, but I'm curious about what we know about the realm. Verantor is a battlefield, right? They say it was actually beautiful once. Abundant in resources, mana, and ancient relics. Epochs of plundering and war have left it completely destroyed. Hmm. Let's discuss the races. So, the four races of Nevendar. What about the Unholy Legion? What's your opinion of the Unholy Legion? They terrify me, thank you very much. I'd much prefer we be on their good side. What about the Undead Hordes? You've always seemed apprehensive about the second Woken. Call me crazy, but I don't love being looked at like I'm a snack. What about the elven clans? I want your take on the elves. The old saying goes, if you're friends with an elf, you're friends with their arrow. I don't really know what it means, but it sounds true. What about the Empire? You ever think about returning to the Empire? 
I miss the lows and I miss my family, but the veil scares me, frankly. Let's discuss something else. Back to the matter at hand. Let's look at the map we had for. Verontar, guys. Boom, it's huge. Difficulty hard. Nice. Once a beautiful ancient cityscape, the region is now decimated by eons of war. Controlling Verontor means winning the war, but at what cost? Hmm. Alright, let's head there, guys. We have other companions to talk to, it looks like. Everybody has a speech bubble. Before you waits the blood-soaked fields of Verontor. Rich in resources and strategically situated, Verontor has been the site of near-continuous battle through the long, bloody ages of conflict. Ah, Verontor, where heroes are made. Or more commonly, where they die. The grass is blood-strong here. Choke points, good sight lines, infrastructure, and defensible low hills. This is a battlefield generals dream of. We may still bring peace here. The races may blame us for the war's escalation, but I still believe if we bring peace to Varantor, we bring peace to Nevendar. Well, so do I, but do you think the generals will listen to reason? We're being blamed for their fighting, after all. Only a fool would stand in the way of peace, no? Huh, meet the leader of all four forces. Um. Their boots. So I'm not going to get into this just yet. We're going to head. Let's see if we can. No, we can't upgrade our tier yet. Is there any spells? No. Um, train companions, no. Let's go ahead and head back to Hurik. Or let's see what companions have to say. Coruscant. Bagthal is incredible. Hearing him tell tales of his life before the war, he is a man who has been through the flame and survived. Wait, you got Bagthal to talk? In his way, yes. He's living proof that all can overcome, that the trials of Nevendar are not in vain. You two should be together. The connection between you is no secret. Pursue the man. Oh, I wasn't sure how you'd feel about it. We're on the brink of the greatest war in the history of Nevendar. If you have a chance to show someone love, take it. Are you ready for Verontor? Nevendar has gone from small battles to all-out war, and Verontor will be the front line. We will need your protection. The High Father will cast a long shadow, but through it I will shine. That is my pledge. I'll be going. We'll talk soon, Coruscant. Um, still has a speech bubble for some reason. Ejimar. I never thought Ilian would suit a necromancer, but here we are. Assume a thing will not happen and it almost certainly comes to pass. You can say that again. The question now is, what will you do here? I have a role in mind. Magister. The mortal flesh of my mind can't recall the word. Is it some kind of wraith? A dark warlord commanding armies of rotted ghouls? Close. A royal magister would guide Ilian's higher learning in arts and most importantly its magic. Then a magister I shall be. I will be the most vile, contemptible magister in all the land. Sounds like we have a deal, Royal Magister Ejimar. What about the history of the races? I want to talk about the history of each race. Um, the Legion of the Damned? Let's discuss the Legion. They feast on second woken like we are delicacies. But it isn't our rotting flesh. The demons have an appetite for dark energy. They are technically the youngest of the races, having been born from Bethrazen's rage after the High Father imprisoned him in Nevendar. But their souls existed across the many celestial planes for an eternity. They are cunning and capable of beguiling anyone, even their god. The Second Woken? If anyone could give me insight into how to handle the Second Woken, it's you. The Second Woken appear chaotic, but we have a society. It is a deeply entrenched caste system. Deviating from your caste means death. 
Lately, we are divided in a different way. Mortis and the Council of Six demand subservience, but the people long for freedom. The only custom uniting the castes of my people is that we all reproduce the same way by waking the recently dead. The Elven Clans? I know you'd had some experience dealing with the Elves in the past. Of all the races, they are the most cruel and the most divided. They also claim to be the oldest. Galleon created them before any other mortal race, but so much of this world has been lost to time. Galleon's departure from this plane caused the schism. The elves split in two, losing their homes and their minds in the process. Now they falsely lay claim to Greyleaf. They falsely lay claim to many things. They are endlessly cruel, and that's coming from a necromancer. Huh. The Empire in the Veil? Vale. Before you woke a second time, you were an agent of the Empire, right? Emperor Demosthenes, Emperor Demosthenes had me executed for my work in necromancy, but I bear the people no ill will. One day we will all die, they will all die, and I will be there for them. Until then, I don't intend to waste my immortality pandering to the unwoken. Let's discuss something else, back to the matter at hand. Are you ready for Verontor? We leave for Verontor, you know. A field littered with dead soldiers? You spoil me, young fiend. What about you? Tell me, old fiend, how are you holding up? Finally destroying the hideous plague that was my wife, Jeanar, was great fun. She was but the first chapter in a long tome detailing the chaos of our lives together, young fiend. I'll be going. I'll be seeing you, old fiend. Or Muriel. I can hardly believe, but I'm growing, cro growing close with Edgemar. Close? No one's more surprised than me. I worry that confessing my appreciation of him may drive him away. <laughs> I'd love to join you both. Um... Let's be a little more non-promiscuous. Um, tell him. I don't know what he'll do. I never know what he'll do, but I say tell him. Being an arbiter of peace between my people, I rarely found honesty to be of much use. But you're right. I will embody your boldness just this once. Are you ready for Verontor? War has come. We will march on Verontor. What do we... What we do there could secure a powerful ally or two. At least then the loss of life would be justified. Let's talk diplomacy. I need advice dealing with the other races. Ah, there is more here. If you have a hint on how to engage with unholy demons, I'm listening. The universe itself was created from a burst of fire and rage. Bethers informed Nevendar in that way. Just as he formed the demons... Be that fire, be that rage, and they will respect you. The Undead Hordes? We somehow have to break through to the Second Woken without angering those aligned with Mortis. The Second Woken are technically older than Mortis. When she sprung from the carcass of Salonial, she commissioned the help of the Necromancers to build her first army. Which means the Undead existed without her, so technically it is possible. The Elven Clans? I need the support of the clans. In order to get it, I need inside their heads. There are three traps for any society. First, a society can form around a corruptible idea or a corruptible leader. These are the first two. But there's another, size. The bigger the society, the bigger its desire for tyranny and its desire for brutality. That is why we form clans. Hmm, the Empire in the Veil? Vale. Tell me something I can use to broker a peace with the Empire's realms. No one truly believes the Vale's propaganda. That would be like believing a rotten meal is delicious simply because the chef said it is. As such, the people are looking everywhere for change. Be their change. Let's discuss something else. Um, I'll be going. Until later, Ormiriel. Um, now her speech bubble went away. 
You enter Edgemar's crypt to find him humming an ancient elven tune. Oh, you keep talking until you you exhaust all their dialogue, I think. Pretty song. Did Ormuriel teach you this? She did, and taught me a great many other things. I haven't felt this alive since my Jeanar was free of her prison. Wait, so you two... Oh, yes, on the very coffin you're standing to, next to, no less. Hmm. <clears throat> Be seeing you, old fiend. As Magister, I must commend your efforts. You are growing both in power and knowledge, and it is inspiring the people here to follow your path. Okay, so keep clicking. Royal Magister Edgemar, it's more recognition than Mortis ever gave. How are you holding up? No, same stuff. Okay, now it went away. Coruscant. As High Priestess, I cannot express how happy I am to see you focused on harvesting divine mana. What a blessing. It is like having the presence of the gods with us in Ilian. <coughs> we'll talk soon, Coruscant. Okay, she's done Bagthal. I'm curious what you think of Coruscant. You two spend a lot of time together. The priestess says she tends to my wounds and my soul. It is a word with no meaning to me, but to her it means many things. Show her your feelings. It's obvious you care about her, and I think that's great. You should do something to let her know. A gift? Yes, a gift. How are you? Curious how you're doing. We've been through a lot. I do fine. Do not question it. Are you ready for Verontor? I assume you're excited. We march for Verontor. We may be forced to fight my former warriors on the battlefield. No, I am not excited. I do not know what I feel. What should our strategy be? You're a fine general of nothing. Let's talk about how to handle the other races. The Legion of the Damned? If anyone could give me advice about the Unholy Legion, it's you. They use postulants to build citadels and forges. It is grueling work keeps the mortals tired and hungry. We must inspire them to rise up. They will join Ilion, but first they must trust. The undead hordes? How would you approach the hordes? They fight for Mortis, but no one knows why Mortis fights. Until you do, do not trust the second Woken. Huh. The elven clans? I need military advice, Bagthal. The elven clans could prove a powerful ally or a fatal enemy. Elves win wars, this is known. Earn their respect, not their blood. The Empire in the Vale? I wonder, now that you're with us, if you ever think about the Empire. The realms of the Empire are not my home. This is here. They value piety over goodness. Win their fanaticism, and you will win their alliance. I'll be going. See you around of nothing. Okay, he's got more. You have procured enough iron to arm ten legions. Our forges are well fed of Ilion. Coruscant listens. She hears the words between words. Most priestesses do. That's probably why she understands you so well. Okay, Coruscant has something to say. Bagthal did the strangest thing. He left a dead animal at my door with a note. His handwriting's not the best, but I think it was a love letter. A dead animal. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but it works. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> we'll talk soon, Coruscant. Alright, that's everybody. Um, we don't have enough primal essence to make another shard. But everything's going good. Do we reassign skills? I would probably take one out of here and put it over here. Um, now this has just 10 in it, no wait. 
this is more than 10. 5, 7, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> okay, well, it's fine for now. Uh, let's see. We don't have the unholy essence to upgrade this. Um, so is everybody's gear tip-top shape? Well, actually, let's, um... We have to head back to Herrick. Let's head back to, um... Herrick. And get our... Barbarian back. And we can check any gateways along the way. direction. Yep. Wonder if Horkos could be sacrificed yet. I would say probably not. Seem to control postulants by whispering something. What I'll say is this. Words are the first step to manifesting one's thoughts in reality. Speak well and words are more than enough. Why are you selling possessed mortals? I thought the possessed, the postulants of the unholy legion, were just used for labor and in your armies. For most, that's true, but I despise being narrow-minded. What are you doing here? You seem to have some kind of control over the mortals here. The only thing more frail than their bodies are their minds. They need only the slightest convincing to work the minds for ore. So I convince them. Slightly. If I need anything else, I'll be back. Morcos has joined us again. Um, let's go see if we can sacrifice them, actually. Would be pretty cool to make that blade of murder even, even stronger. I don't know. Our mana hasn't returned. You know what? Let's probably play on Brutal, actually, guys. But let's do a few things. Um, let's see if we can... Nope. Still not ready. Let's adjust some things, though. Let's go on hard. Healing from unspent AP is 0%. End of combat health mana regen, 5%. Huh, it doesn't let us individually do stuff. Oh, well. I guess we'll just leave it as is, then. Is there any gateway or anything up here? I bet you if there's a gateway in here, it, it's, it leads to where the Tome of Abominations would be. I'm just having a ball with this game, guys. I don't know. Let's hit this mana fountain. I'm pretty impressed with it. There's a lot of secrets, there's a lot of nooks and crannies. A lot of things to suss out and delve into and see and do. I'm gonna light a smoke, guys, bear with me. <coughs> um mm -hmm. just a very charming, fun game. Uh, one second, guy's gonna hit my water bottle. Let's 
continue down here and look for some sort of gateway. There she is, a gateway. Let's see where it leads. Come on, be the Tome of Abominations. What in the four heavens is that? Says Orion. Amidst the ever-burning wreckage of the demonic lands, you discover a stack of torn pages. Curiously, they do not burn. The Tome of Abominations? Awesome. They are the drawings of the anatomy of everything from a Draco Lich, a Draco Lich to an Infernal Golem. Read it. The scribe goes on for ages, cataloging every monstrous creation born from the rage of Bethrazin after Nevendar was sullied by the lesser gods. Read about the third epoch. Of the four epochs, Niringar, Hoylentoth, Balthagen, and Dissidus, the third wrought the sweetest suffering. For twenty millennia, the High Father abandoned Nevendar. Bethrazin, trapped within, raged. Fires erupted across the land, and from that rage and fire, demons were born. So, this tome must have been written in the fourth epoch. It survived the Inquisition, two great wars, and the fall of the dwarves. Incredible. Read about the creation of monsters. The tome primarily focuses on the birth of abominations, not demons, which were born of the fires of Beth's and fury, but something far older. In unseen places, the ancient site and ancient sites, these creatures lurk, infecting the minds of all, even the gods. This says the creatures serve a god older than the High Father, but there is no god older than the High Father. Oh, that is so cool. That is so freaking cool in the lore. Read about spells. A great many of the pages are mad scratches of unfamiliar runic symbols. Atop every page, the sketch of a merfolk eye sprouting wings. Too much of the writing has been torn. I can't tell if the incantations here summon the creatures or destroy them. Take it and leave. You pack the Tome of Abominations in your belongings and ride off. Return to Tachulkin. Nasty, guys. That is awesome. Let's see if there's any more gateways or anything that we can interact with. So we finally found that. The Spleen Collector's still here. Don't know why she still lurking about, but that is awesome. That's what I mean. There's so many cool mysteries, like, there's all of these little tidbits of lore. Nevendar is a really fascinating place. Um, Primal Essence Generator, Mana Fountain. I guess we're officially done with Yurik. Um, the only thing we can do here is fight in the Black Pits now. I'm sorry, the Pits. Not the Black Pits. It's not Baldur's Gate, son. Alright, and we are pretty much done. Let's check one more place where I'm not sure if there would be a gateway. And that is up this direction where I think Yohalmar is. If he's still up here. It's an iron mine. Yeah, Yohalmar. Um... Okay, let's head back to Ilion. We could check the gateways in other places, but let's just head back to Tajolkin and see what this entails. Um, let's go to units and give Horkos. I hear his voice, Dispotters. It's a scream in my head. Um, let's give him... Mild shard of hatred. And let's see. 90 out of 90. Everybody has their proper shards and everything, right? Of 
or a son. Oh, Staff of the Initiate. Let's charge that up. Um. Let's get this baby going. 44 power, 13 initiative. Very nice. There it is. Alright, now what about others' weapons, though? So when we go to use them, they're charged up. Bagthal has nothing equipped. Well, let's see what we can give him. Blade of the Murderer? Yeah, let's give him Blade of the Murderer. And, um... Alright, he does primal damage, so let's go primal damage plus 10%. Muriel. <clears throat> Short sword of the taxman. The Baron Sword, thirty seven power, six percent crit chance. Power and mana. Power and mana vicious blade. Assassin's Twin Dagger. Old Ceremonial Sword, 10 dex, 34 power. Um, let's go with the Baron Sword. And she does primal damage as well. Um, how about morale and how about HP plus 50? Then we've got Orion. We'll give him um, 10 dex, 34 power, old ceremonial sword, and him critical chance plus two percent all right cool so everybody else is taken care of oh what about back here yeah we gave them their stuff um we have a new pair of boots to check wow not the worst pair but we'll use what we've got let's see um, we've been playing for 38 minutes, so it's time to wrap it up. Next time we'll head to Tchulkin. We'll come here and... Meet with Ori. So we have to go to Greyleaf. Nasty guys, so... Head to visit to Jolkin, and I hope you'll join me for that. Um, seal tombs. So, definitely more to come, guys. Stay tuned. Hope you'll join me for future episodes. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying thus far. Um, I think the Jolkin was in here, so we'll go ahead and hand in the rest of the pages. Next time, be well, guys. Stay well, live well, and all good things unto y'all. And let's get it, guys. Let's continue. More fun to be had. This is not the location. Um, I thought it was. I'm not sure where Tchulkin is then. Um, but, let's see here. Um...
There's the poultry sins we saw been done. Ah, uh, the tomb of the Chokin. There's these undead minions that's gonna be tough. Bunch of werewolves, basically. And yeah. I hope you'll join me next time, guys. So, I'll see you then. We'll save right here. Much love, peace, and joy to everybody and anybody. Having a blast with disciples, liberation. See you guys next time. Peace.